Here is why we do not stand Blair White in this household. Blair White. All y'all who follow her are disgusting inside and out too. Like. <coughs> Oh hi, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm aiming to make you laugh. Lord knows we all need it, Lord knows I need it. And that's why today we are reacting to hate videos sent to me by the trans community. If you're new here, what you need to know is that I am trans and that I also get a lot of hate from the trans community. I often describe myself as the black sheep of the trans community, you know I'm here. And the trans community tends to either choose to ignore me or send me hate videos. And that's what we're going to react to today. But one thing about it, I really don't want to paint the picture that like all trans people or all LGBT people dislike me or whatever, because that's really not the case. My subscriber base, which combined on both my channels is now over a million followers, is very heavily LGBT. Whenever I do speaking events, the audience is almost exclusively LGBT. And so it really is just select people in the community. But we're going to react to them today because they're always hilarious. Okay, so let's jump right into it, shall we? This first one is from TikTok, which I just made a TikTok, follow me. So this person, Shut Up Heather, actually made a video and then blocked me, which I feel like if you have to make a video about someone and then block them from responding or defending themselves, um, that's really cowardly, although you are brave for coming on camera looking like this. Here is why we do not stand Blair White in this household. Who's we? Glad to know you're speaking for everyone, but okay. She's actually racist. She's made videos complaining about black people. She's racist. Literally when- <laughs> Made videos complaining about black- When have I made a video complaining about black people? Complain- What would I complain about? Like- What? But I can guarantee you when we keep playing this video, she's not going to cite the video name. She's not going to provide receipts. She's not- There's going to be no screenshot of a video- Like nothing. Like it's literally pulled out of her- or out of the ass of whoever she heard it from and then she repeats it and then it becomes the truth because people have said it so now it's the truth like I can't she's a transmedicalist which is just a fancy word for a gatekeeper of the trans community who th okay before we even address what she's saying now let's talk about how exactly like I said she just kept she steamrolled through she's racist just said it over and over again she's racist she's racist without providing receipts so it just became the truth what a ridiculous human being she's racist She's a transmedicalist, which is just a fancy word for a gatekeeper of the trans community who thinks that trans people need to be a specific way in order to be trans, and if you don't adhere to their stereotypes and their rules, you're not trans enough. Actually, being a transmedicalist, which is first of all a word that these people made up, like, no one self-identified, I'm gonna call myself a transmedicalist. No, you guys made it up, so you guys are mad at a word that you created, that's the first thing. The second thing is, being a transmedicalist literally just means you believe there's science behind being transgender, that there is a mechanism that makes you feel transgender, which is gender dysphoria, that's a diagnosable thing. And normal, sane, level-headed people actually see how that validates the existence of trans people, and it helps trans people to acknowledge that there is a scientific neurological reality behind being trans so the fact that you can twist that into a negative thing is truly amazing like in their eyes i'm trans enough because i'm overly feminine and i'm like super girly and i'm like jiggling my tits all the time i love jiggling my tits but like if I please don't I would also question where I've ever said that being feminine means you're really trans. If anything, I've argued that just because someone is feminine doesn't mean they should transition to a woman, or just because someone is masculine doesn't mean they should transition to a man, that it has actually nothing to do with being trans. So, um, you're dumb. <laughs> but like, if another trans woman's like kind of masculine, it's, you're not trans. So I've seen people say this about me that I feel like if you're like masculine then you can't be trans and i genuinely think that not a single one of them who say this about me and like decide that i feel that way for me have ever watched a single video that i've ever done because if they did they would know that's actually the ex exact opposite of how i feel so this next person is a trans woman who actually made a rap diss about me <clears throat> hey you really f***ed up don't come to chicago bitch. That's how I'm gay, ho. Uh, Janae? Yeah. F out chasing for fame. Better start putting some respect on my name. I've been blessed with this game. Known for putting out pain. Watch fake bitches drop like the rain. It got me going insane. Okay. I can't stomach any more of that. So this person actually tried calling into a radio show I was doing while it was live. This person's really, really obsessed with me. 
All right, well, like we said, there was a diss track towards you. <laughs> um, you know, hey, speaking of uh, transgender diss tracks. Mm -hmm. um, There's more. <laughs> well, um, do you remember when? It's my favorite job. <laughs> and they've also made videos about me, this trans woman named Shanae. So let's see what's up, Shanae. That is Blair White. Only people that follow me on social medias know about this. So yeah, Blair White. I caught her out on Twitter because I was just getting annoyed of her saying the same things over and over again And it's just so petty like the shit that she'd be saying like for real like she'd be talking about the same shit Over and over again. She acts like she's like the saver of like the fucking trans community or some, some weird shit like I definitely don't think I'm anyone's savior. I don't feel like you'd want me to save you Shanae, I'm literally just a bitch with an opinion and clearly you're bothered, but that's okay Like this bitch's ego is just way too high so I called her out. Instead of responding to me, DMing me, wanting to be mature, have a conversation with me, you know what the bitch does? The bitch fucking blocks me. The bitch blocks me on Twitter, right? The bitch blocks me on Twitter. Here's the thing, I rarely block people on Twitter because there's just no point. Like if I'm gonna block people just for sending hate, then I'd be blocking people all day long, right? So if I blocked you, you were particularly annoying. So I don't know if you feel like that's a badge of honor or like what, but. And so I, I'm like, all right, fuck this. She can't come to Chicago no more. You know, I'm a rapper. I'm rap I can't come to Chicago because I blocked you on Twitter. Shanae, the mayor of Chicago has now banned me. So uh, anyways. Oh, here's one from our dear friend, the GameStop trans, Tiffany Michelle Moore. <laughs> Look at that, an old friend. Good morning, y'all. <coughs> <coughs> I'm at you live and direct from Albuquerque, New Mexico. What did that person just say? I'm at you live and direct from Albuquerque, New Mexico. Um, <coughs> I'll be Wouldn't you like calm down your coughing before you come on camera? I've been reading through these uh, comments on my Instagram from some of uh, Blair White's fans. And uh, some of these people are vile and disgusting. Just absolutely gross. Like, I don't, I don't know where, where she finds these people, <clears throat> but certainly is a match made in heaven. I mean, that, that, that woman is disgusting inside and out. And all y'all <coughs> who follow her are disgusting inside and out, too. Like, <coughs> Actually, what's disgusting is having public freakouts on minimum wage workers because they get your gender pronouns wrong when you won't even go there. And all the things that I exposed you for in my video about you. But regardless, um, <coughs> next. Um... All it is is just a case of Blair want, want, Blair White wants what I wants what I have. You know what I mean? I want what you have. So here's the next one. Um, I accidentally came across Blair White's page when I was looking up a meme about trans women are women on Google, and I came across her video of how trans women aren't women they are trans women i've never made a video saying that trans women aren't women i've literally only made a video stating that people who pretend that there are no differences between biological women and trans women and feel like everything's the same including getting your period when clearly uh you don't get that as a trans woman i railed against that because that's delusional and stupid um so um and i don't necessarily disagree with that message then what's the problem? <laughs> but I think that the way that she went about it was a little off. And it was kind of like, because I'm pretty, I am right kind of a thing, which I don't agree with. When have I ever called myself pretty and said that I'm right because I'm pretty? I mean, even if she's speaking figuratively and not saying I literally said those words, I don't feel like I give that off even at all. Like what? But after watching literally pretty much all of her videos last night um, as like research, I decided that I actually love her and I agree with most of what she says. Oh, <laughs> never mind. You really fooled me with the title of this, which is Why Do We Hate Blair White? <laughs> That is hilarious. Shout out to you. You really got me. You genuinely got me. In case anyone's wondering if I watch these videos before I react to them, I don't, clearly. <laughs> okay, so because I'm now in a feel-good mood, I want to react to these couple videos. Blair White. Um, I got a lot to say, Blair. 
Um, I really love your content. It's so knowledgeable, truthful, and super genuine. Like, I've been watching videos for like three, four years now, and I'm a huge fan. And I'm glad to say that your content has really taught me so much about the LGBTQ community. And um, I, um, I aspire to be like you. Like, <laughs> the way you, you speak cry. so earnestly and so proudly among some of these... Um, serious topics it's really admirable and it takes a lot of courage thank you love you anyways guys i want to take a second just to, like talk to you guys real quick and stuff can we just take a second to talk about blair white I feel like she's doing amazing for the trans community. Me growing up as a trans girl, I never saw a woman like me that had my views and the way that I view life, you know what I mean? Seeing Blair being open about her politics, her views, just as a trans woman and sharing in her platform that not all trans women are the same you know what I mean you can be trans and you can be conservative you can be a doctor you can be a stripper you can be anything there's so much more to you than just being trans thank you you're so sweet and I love your hair color I used to have the same hair color although I looked crazy when I had it <laughs> All right, guys, that is it for this video. I had a ball listening to all these different opinions about me. It started out as just wanting to do hate videos, but I'm not going to lie. These last few uh, love videos really got me in a good mood, which I need right now more than ever. Make sure you guys subscribe to this channel if you're not. I know you're going to watch four or five more videos. I know you've already watched four or five videos in the past. You might as well join the family. I don't have friends. I need subscribers. <laughs> Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I post on there a lot more than I post on YouTube, so you're missing out on a lot if you don't follow me there. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.